I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Wait. Hi guys, how you guys doing? Welcome you all to my channel If this is your first time of coming to my channel Thanks a lot And to my returning subscribers Thank you so much So today's vlog I'm going to bring you guys along with me So quick update on what has been happening Okay, so I'm gonna say that you know after your interview it basically takes about three weeks for you to come back for your results but however for some people it takes like above three weeks but they are going to give you like a slip to come and receive it after three weeks guess what happened guys i got a call i got a call after a week and three days like i had a call <laughs> so i received a call you know after a week and three days from the embassy saying that my passport is ready i'm like when did they start calling why are they calling me is that how special i am is that how unique i am anyways at first i did not believe it because normally they don't call people to pick it up you just come when your appointment date is which is like three weeks after so at first I didn't believe, I was like, you know what, this is scam, you guys cannot scam me, I'm not falling for this trick and all of that. So, I reached out to people who received theirs that week and they were like, no, that week was their collection week and they didn't receive any call. At that point I was like, hmm, these people want to scam me, but it's not going to work. So, I now reached out to the man who is helping me to pick it up. So basically, you can pick it up yourself or you can give it to someone to pick it up for you. So, if you are giving it to somebody to pick it up for you, you have to write like an authorization letter, authorization letter. And you state that, you know, you've given this person the authority to pick up your passport. You, put, you give the person a copy of your passport photograph, of your passport passport data page and you also like state the person passport number on the letter so i called the man who is to pick it up for me i'm like i got a call saying that it's ready and i don't know how true this is but is there a way you can confirm for me and the man was like they don't call people and besides today is not your day so how come they called you so at that point i was like okay where are you and he said he was at the embassy i said you know what just send me the picture of the sleep so let me just see if it's there my dear you guys he actually like sent me the sleep and my name was on the list can you imagine like a week and three days for something that usually takes three weeks so i'm like okay send me the sleep let me see if my name is there just to be sure and then he sent the sleep and my name was on the list i was like good but because that day was not my appointment date and also because i didn't reach out to him early enough when i received the call because i basically received the call like around 11 a.m you know he could have gone along with that sleep because he needs that sleep to be able to pick it up for me so I was like, okay, it's fine. So let's just wait till on Monday. And you guys, I was so scared that weekend because I was like, if I had known, I could have just like believed and just reached out regardless. So on Monday, when you got there, I think in the afternoon, because collection date is after like when the interview is done. So that should be around 1 p.m., 2 p.m., thereabouts, after when they are through with the whole interview for the day. Then people that want to collect and also people that want to appeal. So on Monday, you know, he went there and then he sent me the picture and you guys can tell from the title of this video, it was positive. So because um, I wasn't the one receiving it, I felt like there was no point for me to vlog the reaction because he only sent me like the picture on WhatsApp and he later had to like send down my passport to Lagos. And by the time I received it, I already knew it was positive. So there was no point 
seen or trying to act like i was just unboxing the package and just to like put up a fake reaction so that was the reason why i'm not vlogging like the reaction of how i'm picking it up and how i'm opening it and all of that because i already knew ahead of time so basically now i've gone ahead to also like book like my ticket and i booked like after a month and two weeks which you guys know now <laughs> if you're looking for a, a cheap ticket then book far you know a bit far compared to when you're booking like immediate transit you get what i'm trying to say so basically this is about two weeks i've not done anything yet i've not packed i've not done anything but I also know that there are basic things at home that I have that I'm just going to be picking up, you know. And then I'm going to write my list, know the things I have to buy, the things I'm not buying that I have at home. And then I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So one thing also is the fact that I'm also going to like move down my business, my store from my store to an apartment in case you guys don't know i'm a fashion designer and i make dresses please go ahead and visit our website the link to the website is in the description box below so that you can shop and patronize your girl okay business is still ongoing 100 percent still ongoing regardless of where i am okay and i feel like what makes your business a business is being able to run it even when you are not there so there are a lot of structures in place and everything that's going to take care of that so please patronize your girl the link to my website is going to be in the description box below so i'm also going to be moving i'm going to bring you guys along with me when i'm moving like all the things i have in the store to the apartment because it's easier for me to run it when everything is in an apartment and also so that my family can also like check up on them once in a while to see how things are going because everything is in an apartment compared to when it's outside and it has like travel or it has like move long distance to basically check it out so i'm also going to show you guys that and once i'm packing and the things i'm taking along i'm also going to show you guys everything so please go ahead in the comment section and just say congratulations so just go ahead in the comment section and put down congratulations in the comment section and then shall we move <laughs> i'm done packing and let me show you guys what i have here i have this box so this box and this ghana must go is my main luggage which is 23 23 kg i'm also going to weigh them later on today and then i have this small box as my hand luggage and i'm just going to have my school bag where i have my laptop and my cameras so the next thing now after packing is to go ahead and make my hair and fix my nose so basically like prep it because it's two days left basically it's just a day left from today so i need to go and make my hair but i am actually cutting of my hair um the reason why i'm basically cutting it is because aside the fact that i want to rock you know low cut and all it's also because i think i really don't want to be you know under pressure of how to make my hair or pressure of making hair i have a couple of weeks with me about five to six weeks with me which i feel like is enough for days where i don't want to rock low cuts i can just like throw up a wig and then rock my wig but aside that i don't want to be faced with the pressure of i need to make my hair and especially the fact that i am self-sponsored so i really don't want to put such pressure on 
finance of making hair for the first few months however if you know things change and then i become a bit stable and everything i can decide if i want to make them back or if i still want to rock the low cost for a while so that's basically what I'm going to do today so i'm going to bring you guys along with me and you guys let me know what color do you think i'm going to dye my hair or tint my hair because i'm basically going to tint it so let me know what color you guys feel in the comment section so let's go so guys this is the color of dye that I used. It's a very light gold. Don't mind my voice. My voice is a bit cracky this morning. So let me know what you guys think about this color. Do you think that it suits me? And if not, let me know the color you want me to tint next in the comment section. And this is what I did also for the nails. So I'm dressed up already and I'll show you guys my full outfit. <laughs> Feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift Oh! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign So guys we just got to Addis Ababa And I'm basically just like walking around just to stretch my legs Because the first flight was basically about 8 hours and this is also the next flight we're about to board now is going to be nine hours or thereabouts so basically i'm just like stretching my legs you know and i'm just walking around the mall to see how it looks like and it's beautiful but yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe of all days and i have a cracky voice today you guys can you imagine but anyways, I'm just strolling around and it's a very beautiful place.